Um, good, good afternoon, everyone. Um, so today we're going to talk about um, waves. Um, first, I'd like to introduce to you some uh, 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 some methods to classify waves. Um, first method here is uh, based on the directions of the waves. Um, there, um, there are two types under this um, uh, criteria. Um, longitudinal and transverse. Um, if uh, longitudinal waves are waves with with, with the direction with the vibration directions perpendicular, um, sorry, parallel to the to the to the direction of propagation of the wave. And on on the other hand, the transverse wave is uh, waves are the waves with uh, um, vibration directions perpendicular to the to, to the Propagation of the wave. Um, a typical example of longitudinal wave is the is the sound wave, and, uh, and, 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 and an example for transverse waves is the electromagnetic waves, as those waves um, emitted from our cell phones and, or radios, or uh, which is um, commonly applied in our industry. Um, so. Um, I'll give a I'll give you a question. Um, so imagine this is a a, a string, and if I apply a an oscillation at one end at one end of the string, um, for example, um, in the in the vertical direction, I apply a constant oscillation at one end of the string. Um, and the string and, and the wave transverse and the wave travels in this direction through the string. Can anyone tell me what kind of uh, wave is this? Transverse. Uh, right. So uh, because um, because each point on the string is moving in the vertical direction. While the propagation of the wave is in the uh, it is in the x direction, so so they're perpendicular, so that makes it a transverse wave. And uh, let's put, let's look at look at another example. Imagine this is the spring, and there's a wave traveling through it, and the wave is traveling also in this direction. And who can tell me what kind of wave is this? Communication. 
Right, so like, is there any way for them to talk? Like what kind of device can they use? Yeah, some kind of like like walkie-talkie. Mm. <laughs> so, um, so they can use um, they can use some electric device that transforms their sound waves into electromagnetic waves, which can travel through vacuum and to the to the device of, of their opponent, and w in which w which can then in turn tra uh, transforms their electromagnetic waves to some some waves again and uh, travel through the other astronauts ear. So um okay. Um okay. So next I will talk about the basic for uh, the, the basic structure of a of the uh, I'll talk about the structure of the basic and the, the most uh, and the simplest waveform, the harmonic wave. Um There are several concepts you need to know. Um, um, uh, these uh, points on the waves with the maximum with the maximum upward upward uh, displacement are called crests, and these points with the minimum with the maximum downward displacement are called troughs. And the distance between two, two sequential crests or two sequential troughs are called lambda, the wave length. The maximum displacement is called the amplitude of the wave. Mm. And, uh, and there's a field here. It's defined for a wave, for, for a complete cycle of oscillation of a wave. Excuse me. Sorry. Okay. Um, so next, I will talk about. Next, I will I will talk about the uh, the most common physical phenomenon of the wave. A pro pro the most common properties of the wave uh, is the interference. In, uh, in gen generally speaking, interference is um, is uh, two when two waves uh, for for interference to 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 happen, um, the two waves needs to have the same directions of ha the have the same directions of propagation, and they should have the similar or same or best the same frequency. Um, and uh, when 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 these uh, conditions are satisfied, the two waves encounter each other, and they they, uh, they combine they combine uh, through superposition to create. They will combine through, through superposition to create an interference pattern. Um, let's imagine these two points are emitting the same, exactly the same, the same waves, and these curves indicate the places where a tr 
shock or a, or a crest occurs for these waves. So at this point of their uh, of the uh, intersection, uh, at this intersection point, there are two, two there are two situ situations. One situation is one one crest of a wave meets one meets the trough of meets a trough of the other wave. That means um, in that case, that means a destructive interference happens, and that makes the uh, that makes the total amplitude. Uh, cancel with each other like this. As you can see, the total amplitude can be zero. And at, at the other point, uh, a crest of a wave meets a crest of the other wave, or a trough of, of a wave meets the, a trough of the other wave. That means that that means a constructive interference happens at these points, um, which makes the total which makes the total amplitude larger. As this. So tomorrow we're going to talk talk more about these uh, interference. Okay. Thanks for listening.